Welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with an episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I'm joined as always by Vash, Kyra, and Lamia, our trusty party. We we don't know where we are. We went through uh we went through the portal and now we're in this spot. It looks very rusty, kind of futuristic, it looks kinda of like Star Trek. Like the first whatever, the first Star Trek. And now this confused me forever when I was a kid. You can't Go through this door. A strange crest is engraved here. It's sealed by some kind of power. And I always assume, no, that means I, I, I did something wrong. I can't go through the game. Oh, you could just go south out of here. I don't know why that always bothered me. But that one, that one more than anything else. Yeah, question mark. We don't know where we are. That one more than anything else. That one confused me when I first played this game. We need to go down here to Tran Dome. Any, any guesses? I mean, this is... I don't know, it's kind of obvious to me. It's the future. I don't know if it was obvious to you. I might have spoiled it for everybody. I apologize, but this is very futuristic to me. Uh, they don't really say how far into the future we've gone, but but we're definitely in the future. What's up, dude? Got any cash? Are you homeless? Look at Vash thinking about it. Hmm, do I have cash? Yes, I do. Call this money? Oh, well, I have some good stuff. And in fact, this person does have good stuff. I say this person because I don't know if it was male or female. We're going to get an auto gun and three iron suits and helms. I'm going to equip those all off screen, though. With those all equipped, everybody has much higher stats. And we, uh, do we need to buy any of these? I mean, I could, I could probably use a few more heals. I'll get, I'll get two more just in case. Everything else, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this is right now. I haven't had to use all that much, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy. Save money, he'll do you good. That's my motto. What's up, homeless people? I'll send some food at Eris Dome to the northeast, but only if you get past Lab 16. The beasts there don't react to weapons like guns and swords. What? What do you mean they don't react to guns and swords? Truce Dome? Never heard of it. This is Tran Dome. We asked about Truce Dome, apparently. Yeah, there's no kingdom here. Looking for food, you lose. There's no food. And you can't go through there almost again. This is an airtron. You get a full night's sleep in a few seconds, but it still leaves you hungry. We'll see about that. I will rest in the Inertron. Everybody in the Inertron. How we all fit in there, I don't know. HPMP restored. Awesome. But you're still hungry. That is not awesome. <laughs> you're still hungry. The Inertron does not feed you. Alright. Now that we ha we're back to full HP and MP, we need to go the only way that they told us that we could go. Are they going to give us a time now? No, okay. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know, it's obvious that we're in the future. You might as well just give us a year. Seriously, go up there. Thank you. Lab 16. Actually, I do need to save first. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's go into Lab 16. It's very scary in here. There are lots of, uh, well, we'll, we'll go. yeah, you see those rats there? You those you won't fight the rats, okay? Just just for the record, um, stand you know just stand there, okay? The hell is that? Uh, okay, we do have new enemies. Yeah, the rats. Uh, you you never fight them, so don't like run up to them. They will steal your tonics. These are octopods, and I don't like them, so I'm gonna kill the other one. Oh, we got its turn in. Damn it! I was kind of hoping to kill it before it got its turn in. Alright. It's still alive! What the hell? And did they just heal? You meat eater. You healed them? Oh, uh, look at that. Still not enough. How much? Okay, screw it. We're going for the meat eater because he's a damn healer and he's just spamming that crap. Lamia, you seriously need a new bow. Damn it. <laughs> I went for the octopod. That is not what I wanted to do. Now go for the meat eater. Go for the mage. Always kill the mage first. Damn it. Now it gets its turn again. Damn these octopods. It's a drain? Did it drain before? It didn't look like it drained. Either way, down it goes. You get 43 experience points, 3 tech points, and 80 gold. And ether. 
That was good. That was good. Yeah, the rats. Um, they they just steal tonics if you touch them. So don't 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 touch them. <laughs> you get a berserker out of there. That is a good item. And then, so yeah, we'll be using that eventually. All right, just wait. You gotta be a little bit patient with these guys, but yeah, it's worse than losing a tonic. Looks like we've got another healer here and three other things. What are those other things? Why'd you go all the way over there, Kyra? Seriously. We do have new enemies. These are craters. Oh, they they look very similar. Yeah, kill the meat eater. I hate. Oh, he's probably going to yeah die right there. And you guys did not focus your attacks. You were, oh, what the hell's wrong with you? You know what? Cyclone. I can't cyclone all of them? Cyclone those two then. Really? All that lava for 18 damage on one character? Down they go. Awesome. Just one crater left. Let's go ahead and finish him off. Uh, doesn't even need to get to Vash's turn, even though he's still our biggest damage dealer. 64 experience points, 4 tech points, 165 gold! And another ether. They are just giving us a ton of ethers. Yeah, um, I'd, I'd show you that they take a tonic, but it really just pops up a screen that says, took, took your tonic. So I don't want to show you that. What? Damn it. You guys again. Okay, now we can get what's in this chest here. You get a load sword, which we already have equipped on Vash um, from earlier. Don't get hit by the rats. That is priority number one. Okay, you need to find out their freaking pattern. Okay, up here, yeah, there it is. We get a load bow, which is awesome because Blimey has been needing a new weapon. Like, seriously, been needing a new weapon. The bronze bow, look at that. It has a hit percentage of 12. I guess you could say it's a hit of 12. I always go for hit percentage. Uh, you, but yeah, it goes up to, well, what am I talking about? Look at, yeah, the attack is 10 on the upper left. Now it's up to 21. The hit, you know, the hit, of course, doesn't go up when you change equipment. But yeah, it's over double what it was before. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Go away, rats. Nobody likes you. Okay, we're going to go back this way. Fight some more meat eaters and octopods. Now let's continue going through. Somehow this is a lab. Never quite understood that. But we've got more craters. We've got five of them. Do they have any friends? Nope, it's just the five of them. All right, with those guys out of the way, I need to head east. Ah, oh, oh that was close. That was close, Rat. You almost got me, but you didn't. Right, let's go east here, and we do have new enemies. Now, these are the ones that they talked about in uh, Trandome. These are shadows, and they are only weak versus fire. Uh, so we're going to go for... Uh, fire whirl on them because aura really heals it, it's weird so we're gonna go for those two yeah aura restores allies restores yeah it's just it's just weird it, it, yeah, it I don't get it Vash you know he uh, he goes around and uh, whatever uh, wait no that's it's not there we go her turn just go for flame toss should be enough to finish this guy off. Uh, yeah, the Vash cyclones around as he heals people by hitting them with a sword. It's weird. 42 experience points, 3 tech points, 150 gold. Oh, Lamia learns Provoke, her second technique. Let's go down here. Maybe we'll get a chance to show off what, what that actually does. What the hell is that? I can't... I was about to say, can I fight it? I want to fight it. the hell is that? Are you going to tell me? Because this thing kind of freaks me out. This is a mutant, of course. Uh, hits pretty hard. Hits pretty hard. I might actually have to heal a little bit. All right. Uh, provoke. Confuses the enemy. Let's go ahead and try it out. See how well it works. Really? I don't think it confused the enemy, to be honest with you. Critical hit from Kyra, though. Oh, and it has a drain ability. Of course it does. So now I'm going to finish it off. Lamia, now that 
she's got the load bow, she can actually do some damage. Go ahead and, well, smack it, I guess, but I was kind of hoping that you would, you know, fire your crossbow at it. But down goes the mutant. You get 22 experience points, 30 gold. Awesome. Now, I am going to heal off screen. Now, the way out of the dungeon is, is up that way, but there's a few more items that I want to get, like that treasure chest over there. Let's go ahead and grab that, and we get another ether out of that chest. And we can head east to find... Oh, more shadows. I'm gonna have to firewall these guys again, because that's pretty much all that we have that they're weak to, is fire. Now, I think that's it for treasure, but there are more shadow enemies that you can fight over here, which I will, for experience. I'm kind of an experience whore like that. But especially since they were bunched up together like that, that was very easy. So here's where the mutant was. Now, let's go ahead... Oh, there's another one. We will take you on. With that mutant out of the way, we are free to continue on. And exit the dungeon, which is always nice. And now, we still don't know when we are. I guess you could say, we don't know when. We also don't really know where. Uh, we have a few new options here. We could head to Lab 32, which is another dungeon. Obviously, the labs are apparently dungeons. Uh, this dome, you can't go in. It's kind of odd. But here, we have Eris Dome. And what the hell is that? Either way, I am saving before I'm going in there. 